about our boy. Your boy, not ours. There's no way I'm dealing with him again. This guy's had it rough. I mean, parents die in a fire, sister commits suicide. You can't really blame him for being so odd. Odd? Neil Goodman? You guys are relentless. He's always calling us about some disturbance or some accident. Well, he called today reporting a disturbance and possible mail theft. <laughs> It's all you, Rook. Classic first encounter with good old Goodman. Classic rookie protocol. Have fun. How bad can he be? Mr. Goodman? My, my name is Detective Angelo Barty. You called about a disturbance earlier? Oh. Yes. Hello. Would you like to tell me about what happened? Uh, yes. I was in the television room when I heard a loud thud. A loud thud? Yes. Exactly. You can continue. Oh, all right. I went outside to go see what was going on. And later I found my mailbox smashed. Has your mail been stolen, sir? I believe so. I haven't received any mail in the past week or so. I have the mailbox wait right here. Here. Mr. Goodman, do you know of anybody that would want to steal your mail? No. I I can't think of anybody that would want to take my mail. You know, guys at the station have a lot to say about you. Oh, I'm sure. 
the station and I've always had a bit of a misunderstanding. Okay, well, I can file a report if you'd like, but there's really not much for me to go off of. But I'll give you my card, and if you see anything unusual or suspicious, please give me a call. Thanks, Detective Barty. Thank you for coming. I don't see what's so funny. I mean, the guy was reasonable. I'd call the station if I were him. How would you feel if someone stole your mail and thrashed your goddamn mailbox, huh? Here's what you don't get, Barty. It's, it's been like this for the past three years. I mean, there's always something with good mail. I, I understand, but come on. The man's mail has been missing for a week now. It makes sense that he's a little mad. This week is mail. Next week, we got a flat tire. The week after that, Milk on a cereal is too cold. It's one thing after the other. I think y'all are crazy and that's all there is to it. Man, look, this guy's a broken record. It's gonna call the station. I don't know how many more times. Just drop the examination party. Come on. This is Detective Barty. so quick. Please, please come in. Please, follow me. Is this your mail? They're, they're addressed to me, but that's not my mail. <laughs> really? Well, do you mind if I take a look? Please, please do.
Neil, what is what is all this? I don't know. I I thought you would have some sort of theory for all of this. Do these do these numbers mean anything to you? No. I have no idea what it means. You think people are watching me? Do you think my neighbors can't be trusted? I couldn't tell you. Neil, would you mind giving me a tour of the property? It doesn't have to be too in-depth. I just want to get a lay of the land. That's all. Sure. This is my family's garden. Before they die. It's hard sometimes. I I really miss them. I can imagine. I apologize. We've mm. like so many memories of my family and I'm out here. Mm. Hurt. Mm. Hurt. Mm. What's this? This. This is where my sister's eyes should be buried. Or what about your family? It's sad, really. What happened to your parents? And then, I can't imagine losing my sister shortly after. It was hard. Indeed. But... <laughs> I look after this old place now and focus on the path ahead. I just wish I could kill or just mess with my mail. Whoa, whoa. Neil, let's not go dropping threats now. All these paths remind me of my sister. We'd always have so much fun together. We were so close. She'd always count her steps and sing, Ring around the rosy, ring around the rosy. You were really close with your sister, weren't you? Yeah, we were. My parents loved her even more than me. Well, that's pretty much it. Uh, Neil. What's that? That's just the guest house. Well, I'll get these back to the station. Call me if anything else happens. Owen, thanks for the tour of the house. No, thank you.
it's like a it's like a flame or something. And why would there be flame on Goodman's mail? It's like a message or something. Or possibly a puzzle. Well, I mean, what type of thief was going to set Neil Goodman's mail on fire? I don't know, but I tend to find out. <sighs> what do we tell you? Stop paying attention to Goodman. He's nothing but trouble. Nothing but a broken record. I'm telling you, man. Just leave it. Drop it. Way too strange, detective. I just don't trust him. I wouldn't be surprised if he wrote this himself. And I wouldn't be surprised either if he got his mail and replaced it with this. You're coming, buddy. I'm starting to think this case is going to be solved. You know, it's funny you say that. I was just doing some work on the case, and the kid did something pretty interesting. Is this your new belt?
doesn't mean a bell. That's odd. That was the map. A map. A map that I followed. That's interesting. Oh, that's not even the interesting part. The interesting part is that it led to your sister's grave. And what's even more interesting is what I found buried underneath the dirt. Do you know what I found, Neil? Are you sure about that? Because I'm pretty sure you know what I found under the dirt. I don't know what you found under the dirt. Well, let me tell you. I found this key. What I want to know is why I found a key buried inside a box where you said your sister's ashes are. What are you hiding, Neil? Yeah. to you. I did. You're a good detective, Barty. But the department never looked into my parents' death. No! You will have to pay the price for them. Neil, you need to stop this before it's too late.
Humans have been the same for generations. Each and every one of us is wired the same. Animal predators, however, are very different. They do not feel compassion for the other animals. All they know is kill or starve. But humans? Humans have cared for other humans since existence. When someone loses someone or something, our natural reaction is to feel bad for this person. Some might even go to great lengths to help this person. But what if the person who stole was the same person who's stolen from in the first place? Detective Barty looked to help Neil Goodman. What he didn't know was Goodman was looking for someone like him that he could take advantage of. We can speculate Goodman acted out of anger toward the department. After his parents died in 2012, Goodman was convinced that justice was never served to his family. When his parents died in the fire, a case was never filed. This department ruled it as an accident, and that was that. Oh, and I want to thank you, Barty. If it wasn't for you finding the key, we would have never been able to unlock his other box. What other box? The box Goodman wanted you to find. I didn't. Yes, I know, but we did. What was inside? A confession letter. Huh? From his parents dying to their beloved daughter living with him, Neil snapped. He killed his own sister and burned her body. It's like the guy was on a mission to prove a point. And once he got close enough to someone within the department, he tried to duplicate his parents' death. All in all, Barty's lucky to be alive. Come on, detective, let's get you home.